Hi everyone, I'm retired meteorologist Pat Prokop and today is Monday, September 23rd and the threat of a hurricane developing in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico has now increased dramatically. The National Hurricane Center has now defined this system as a potential tropical depression and have it developing into a strong category one, possibly a category two, and a category three in the northeast Gulf of Mexico is not out of the question. Let's take a look at the satellite imagery first of all. And here we have the satellite imagery courtesy of Tropical Tidbits, and great website by the way, if you'd like to uh, get uh, great weather information. Anyway, uh, there's the system. It looks like it's over here in the Central Caribbean, Western Caribbean Sea, but let's take a look at the visual view because that's gonna show a lot more uh, detail information now here looking at the high resolution visible imagery there you can see right over here is where the actual center of the storm is now circulating we are beginning to see circulation in the system uh, there's the uh, western tip of Cuba right over here there's the uh, Cayman Islands over here and uh, the rotation is definitely uh, ongoing now a lot of the convection uh, that you saw on that other satellite imagery uh, is over here to the south and southeast of the center of rotation but uh, we're also beginning to see thunderstorms developing and convection developing around the center of location that's a strong indication that this system is now a tropical depression what does the National Hurricane Center have to say about this well here's the path that they are expecting it to follow and since the National Hurricane Center has designated this as a tropical system, I'll be following their maps to avoid any confusion because, you know, they, they are the experts. Anyway, let's go with that. Uh, they expect the system to become a depression uh, late this afternoon and then a storm, uh, and the storm name will be Helene, uh, along with a list of other storms as you see right there on the screen. Anyway, uh, becoming a hurricane as it moves across the Straits of Yucatan between the Yucatan Peninsula and the western portion of Cuba, that'd be uh, tomorrow morning. I mean Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. and then by 8 p.m. Wednesday as a category one hurricane in the central southern Gulf of Mexico and then moving toward the northeast Gulf of Mexico by 8 a.m. on Thursday and then moving up into uh, Georgia and into uh, the upper portions of the Tennessee Valley as a decaying weather system. But before it gets into that decaying mode, it's going to be a very strong storm. Let's take a look at some of the uh, uh, information about the storm. First of all, uh, I, I want to just look at the potential precipitation to be associated with this storm. A lot of rain could be associated with this storm, but the storm is going to be a fast moving storm. That's one good, not the only good thing about this storm. And looking at the total precipitation, let's stop it here at 12 Zulu Saturday. Actually, it's going to be uh, Friday when basically all the activity in our area will be over. And we're seeing a band of very heavy rains almost along US 1 and, uh, and then 301 going into central South Carolina. This band of burnt orange here that's about six to seven inches of rain in the greater Savannah area down to Brunswick. Uh, we're looking at the, about three to four inches of rain potential with this system. And then going into eastern South Carolina uh, in the um, uh, South Carolina Hilton Head area, Bluffton, Buford area, uh, perhaps about two inches of rain to be associated, two to three inches of rain perhaps uh, associated with this, but it's going to be the winds as well. Very strong winds will be associated with this system. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, uh, temperature map across the uh, uh, Gulf of Mexico. That's the energy supply, uh, the energy source for the hurricane that will be developing in this system. And, and it's got a lot of energy to work with. 31 degrees Celsius, that is 88, 89 degrees Fahrenheit water temperature. So that water temperature is very warm. And so there's a potential that if the winds aloft relax enough, that we could have a rapid intensification of the storm as it goes across these very warm waters of the eastern Gulf of Mexico. And we could see a category one storm going to a category three storm in a matter of you know, half a day or so. So uh, the potential is there for the storm to reach category three major hurricane status. That's 115 mile per hour winds. Now the National Hurricane Center is expecting the winds up to a, around 100 to 110 miles an hour. Uh, but it, it's a possibility we could see 115, 120 mile an hour wind uh, over here in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico by Thursday afternoon. All right, let's take a look at uh, what to expect across our area. Well, first of all, let's take a look at Wednesday 
at uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, this is to uh, what to expect across central and southern Georgia and southeast South Carolina, where most of my viewers watching my YouTube channel are concerned uh, about. And Wednesday, expect to see increasing clouds becoming breezy throughout the day with rain developing later in the uh, nighttime hours. Here we have it at uh, sunset on uh, Wednesday. And then going into Wednesday night, rain developing across southern portions of Georgia as the storm now moves into that uh, area of the Gulf of Mexico where those water temperatures are 85 to 89 degrees. Uh, there the rain shield begins to show up across south central Georgia uh, and very heavy rains approaching the, uh, the Florida area and all of Florida Peninsula getting some moderate to heavy rains. And then as we go across Wednesday night into early Thursday morning, this is sunrise on Thursday, uh, at daybreak, expect to see rain across central and southern Georgia. And then during the afternoon, uh, rain band will continue to move northward uh, into uh, all of southeastern Georgia, central Georgia, eastern Georgia, and uh, the extra far western portions of South Carolina. So uh, Thursday afternoon, rain squalls uh, developing with strong gusty winds. And the uh, squalls will be associated with these bands uh, moving in from the hurricane. The hurricane is still gaining strength over the Gulf of Mexico at this time. This is at uh, uh, 2 o'clock Thursday afternoon. And then going into sunset on Thursday, the storm is moving into the upper Big Bend area of Florida as perhaps potential major hurricane at that time and according to the GFS model it would it would be a major hurricane with winds over 115 miles an hour but we'll keep an eye on what the National Hurricane Center uh, is going with that's always the key follow the National Hurricane Center to avoid confusion anyway uh, for sunset on uh, Thursday expect to see uh, damaging winds yeah, damaging winds in southern Georgia and strong winds elsewhere. When I say damaging winds, we're talking winds in excess of 55 miles an hour, storm force winds. Uh, and over here in south central Georgia, we're going to be seeing uh, winds uh, exceeding perhaps 60 miles an hour at that time. And then going uh, into overnight into Thursday at 2 o'clock on Friday morning, uh, Thursday night, damaging winds and tornadoes now across the eastern portions of Georgia and South Carolina. Anywhere on this eastern and northeastern side of the storm, as I like to refer to it as the dirty side of the storm, that's where you expect to see a lot of damaging uh, conditions across that uh, region. And that region, that's where we're going to be. We're going to be on that dirty side of the storm, the bad side of the storm. And then going into Thursday night, uh, this is at... Uh, uh, well, Thursday night and Sun, uh, Friday morning. Uh, Thursday night, damaging winds with more tornado activity expected. And then uh, Friday sunrise, still damaging winds in eastern Georgia and all of South Carolina, uh, strong to damaging winds possible across that area there. But then things begin to clear out by Friday afternoon. Winds beginning to subside and the rain beginning to end across the region. But it's going to remain mostly cloudy and uh, still windy. Uh, but then going into the uh, sunset on Friday, uh, it, possible somewhat clearing, some scattered showers. Uh, it'll be breezy, though. And then by Saturday sunrise, expect to see fair to partly cloudy weather conditions. So, you know, it's going to be a fast moving storm, but it's going to come through with a very strong punch. So we got to watch out for that. Yeah, let's how, how concerned. And how concerned am I? Well, I'm taking down my big telescopes and I'll be stowing them in a safe position, including the big one over here. Taking them down. Don't want them to get damaged from flying tree limbs and debris going through the air throughout the day on Thursday. You might want to consider doing the same things by stowing all loose outdoor objects in a safe and secure place. You, you, you know I'm concerned when I take down my telescopes. You know, those telescopes are not cheap. Uh, I got several thousands of dollars invested in those telescopes, so I want to protect them. And if I take those telescopes down, that means I am very worried about the weather conditions. And yes, I'm taking the telescopes down. So uh, you can get more information on my website, savannapat.name. Always 
always get up-to-date information. I'll be having live radar reports as they become uh, 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 visible th uh, throughout the storm uh, uh, in this area. Over here, I'll have the greater Savannah area a radar, Charleston, Savannah, down to Brunswick. And then I'll have this radar here, the floating radar, over the storm, watching the storm. And you can see the core of the storm as it moves in toward our region. So once again, uh, expect to see very severe weather conditions to move across all of southeastern and central Georgia and all of southeastern and central South Carolina, particularly throughout the day on Thursday into Thursday night, I wouldn't be surprised to see widespread power outages to be associated with this storm. Tropical system Helene will be moving its and making its mark across our region. I'll keep you posted right here on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.